This is why. Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm DCSU81, and welcome to another special video. Many of you guys have actually asked me, DCSU81, you actually covered uh, news about SHV Guards, Minifax, or uh, sometimes even Mesco or Marvel Legends, but why not Amazing Yamaguchi from Rebel Tech? Well, this is what this video is about. And before I begin, I would like to tell you that this is not a bashing video about how bad the amazing Yamaguchi is and things like that. As a matter of fact, I think I can point out more good things about this brand, but it's just, you know, sometimes it's just personal preference that I just couldn't get myself to buy another amazing Yamaguchi. Well, that might be your problem. So let's go through the good things about it is the first thing, of course, we all know that the Amazing Yamaguchi is very good in terms of the articulations. You can post any of the dynamic poses that you can even think of, it can be done. And the second thing is the Amazing Yamaguchi is very generous when it comes to the accessories. Yes, they do give a lot of things, interchangeable eyes for the Spider-Man or even the Deadpools, guns, webbings, everything that you can think of. It does come with it. And the third thing is their price are not very expensive even considering all the accessories they comes with. And if I were to sum up a word that best describe the amazing Yamaguchi, it is fun. So let's go through the amazing Yamaguchi that I owned. The very first one is this Deadpool which is their very first release. And the second one is this Spider-Man, yep, which is a great figure as well. And the third one is this huge Venom, which is also quite a disappointment to me. And the fourth one, if I'm not wrong, is the Gwen Stacy, which I didn't get. And the fifth one is this Wolverine, okay? So this is where I kind of stopped getting it because I was kind of let down by this Venom, like I said. And the last amazing Yamaguchi that I've gotten is this Carnage. And you, as you can see, it is still in the box. I'm still thinking whether I should just sell it off or I should open it up because, well, like I say, it's just a big letdown to me. So let's get straight to the point on why I actually stopped buying it. The first one, of course, as you can see, they are not very good when it comes to a museum pose. You can see all their exposed joints all over. It's like their meat, their body part is all in a chunk. You can see the arm is one chunk, the, <laughs> the shoulder, the legs, the thigh is all chunk by chunk and it's connected by the huge ball joint that you can visibly see. So if you are a kind of person who actually want to post your figure in a museum pose like this, the amazing Yamaguchi is really not meant for you because I have tried to put them together with SHV Quest or even Mayfax they are looking very ugly as compared to them. Emotional damage! They are really meant for dynamic poses only. Allow me to show you what I mean by that. You can actually see I put it together with this is Spider-Man from the SH Figures. This is the Spider-Man from Minifax. And this is the Spider-Man from the Marvel Legends. Can you see how odd he looks like? He stand out but in, not in a good way. He stand out because he's ugly, okay? So this is the main reason I stopped collecting them because I don't really go for dynamic poses anymore except for when I'm taking some photography but for my display, it's all in a museum pose as you know that I have a limited space in my collections. I'm full of action figures. I can't afford to have the Yamaguchi display in a very dynamic poses which will take up like a two figure space for one Yamaguchi. And the second reason is because of this chunky Venom. He's a big disappointment because I was really looking forward to him and when he got released and <laughs> it just doesn't look good as you can see. He has a very small waist and his upper body is so heavy that he just couldn't hold the poses and he fall off very very easily as he have small feet as well and the body parts actually comes off very easily uh, they are lost i lost count on how many times the arm actually fell off the body actually fell off uh it came off as half you know things like that 
And even in dynamic poses, he can't hold on very well because of the heavy upper body, which is what put me off into collecting the amazing Yamaguchi because it defeats the sole purpose when the joint can't even hold on to the poses. One thing I gotta give it to them is that they are pretty durable. I lost count on how many times I dropped this uh, worrying because of his again like the venom he's quite hard to stand on to it as you can see i have to put a stand on him and yeah when he fall off the the claw actually flew off very far away and to my surprise there actually no breakage on it as you can see the <laughs> the claw is pretty uh i would say fragile but i have dropped it really really many times and it just hold on very well not even a scratch but um it still as you can see there's lots of gap lots of big visible joint and i really hope that they can actually improve on that if i'm not wrong they actually says that the deadpool 2.0 kind of fix this old deadpool uh i was actually tempted to get it until i see a review from fuji paint job on some of these are terrible bleeding out from the eye and you notice the neutral eyes oh just miss completely that's a big no for me because if you can't paint the eyes properly what's the point of getting the figure right yes again this is my gripe about the amazing yamaguchi i know this is personal this is just me i'm not saying that all of you should feel the same of course they are great figure especially if you like to play with dynamic poses they are very good at that so i do hope you enjoy this video and i'll catch you again in my next one i almost forgot one thing that really puts me off from the amazing yamaguchi look at this batman just look at how chunky the cape is oh my goodness